Damn, I'm so sorry. It's still so delayed. The fuck? What is that? Oh, maybe? Well, look, it's... I wonder what that is. I wonder what the reason for that is. Could that be, uh... Could that be because... My, like, my streaming bitrate... I think I set it max to 6. And I have, like, 14... 14 on my stream. Or 14 stream. 14 Mbps up on my uh, internet connection. I am using the iPhone as a cam. It's for the keyboard. Is it the keyboard? Ooh, let's turn it off. Well, what's, uh, um, oh, you know what I could try and do? Yeah, I was using this on 420. Oh, it's not wireless connection to the phone. You know what I'm going to do, actually, is, I know what to do. Let's try... Let's try this. Let's try this. Ooh, this could be bad. Be right back. Now, let's see. Uh, okay. Okay. So, let's see now. I missed it. It looked good. Wait, I yeah, it. see? It it's good. the NDI fucking thing. Yeah. It's the NDI thing. Wow. That's fucking lame, dude. I'm so sorry. Um, how do I... Yeah, it's already starting to go off a little bit. Weird. Well, that's fine. Anyways, let's look at the chat. Uh, anything, anybody else have any? Uh, yeah, pad shop, get it. It's fucking dope. So these audio samples of your presets, you could scan through them in a database without calling up a million plugins. Yes, that is exactly why. Because the fucking time it takes me to load shit is so annoying, so I was just going to make a little wave directory that I could just zoom through them and hear the sounds. It's something that... I th Someone told me that Louis Bell does this. Or has a system of data so we can like pull up a patch that he makes and it has a sound or something. And I thought what I under what I took from it was that it's something like this. So I'm trying to do something like that. Man, this fucking video is off already. Look at that shit. Wow, that's terrible. Well, how do we fix that? What kind of fucking options are? Kind of fucking bullshit is there here? Mode live. What are these things? Oh, clear screen now. No. Wait, does clear screen like fucking live? Oh, okay. Hold on. Does that fix it? Oh shit. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Made it worse. Good lord. Oh, I could change my frame rate down. Let's do that. And then let's restart it. Uh, let's see if that works. Try, I'm gonna check my stream. Let's see if that works. Try, I'm check my stream. Yeah, now it works. Let's see how long it takes to get all fucked. Piece of shit. Piece of shit. What I paid thirty-one dollars for. Sample rate do I use? Uh, I think it's 128 on the settings. Oh, shut up, Ian. Sorry. Uh, stream output. Yeah, audio bit rate is 128. Enable advanced encoder settings very fast. Huh. Go 60? 
Oh, wait. I should just have it on Mac as a folder. No, it's not a Cubase feature, but funny you mentioned that because I was thinking of emailing, uh, emailing Steinberg, the dude I know, and being like, yo, wouldn't it be sick if you could... Because, like, Nexus started doing that in their synth. Oh, shit. Okay, I gotta listen to this. Wait, what? You ever, ever notice that people are texting so much more? Because they're home. Sweet. Okay. Yeah, we're out of time. Fuck. All right. The sample rate in the song you make. Uh, 44 one. Yeah, I wouldn't, I'm not doing any 48 or anything. You know, let's see what happens if I go to 60 FPS on this NDI thing. Can I do 60? Yeah, I can. All right, we're trying it. Um, on, I'm going to restart it real quick. We're at 60 now. Let's listen to the sound. Okay, let's leave it on 60 then and see how long it takes. All right, well, this is part of the reason why we're doing this. So, cool. All right. If anybody, does anybody have any questions left? I'm going to go listen to this song. Oh, don't close that. I'm going to listen to a song now that I listened to. Put some little background music. Oh, no, not that song. I'm not going back there right now. If you got any questions, hit me in the chat. I'll put on some background music. What did I like recently? Medicine. Oh, home. Oh, this shit is so sick. Oh, this is good background music. Listen to this shit. What a fucking spaceship. Reminds you of air. How's the sound doing? Air. Wow, sync is still going. That's incredible. Maybe it. What did we change? I don't remember. Nothing. We restarted NDI. Okay. All right. Did I answer the demo question? What was the demo question? Thing I thought I saw you a lot of high frequency on the drums. Um, yeah, more high frequency and percussion. It did. This song is distracting me. It's so good. <laughs> okay, I gotta shut it off. Uh, I think everything. A lot of, uh, you know, things like OTT will give you a good little benefit, but they brighten everything up all crazy. So. I, I I think everything's like so bright always, you know, and, and I notice like those old records, you know, like fucking uh, Earth, Wind and Fires, like September and uh, just a lot of old records are so soft and it's because of like how analog breaks up highs. You know, those were all done on tape, which like makes them give them that warmth and stuff. And everything today is so bright and it's like you know mastering is going to do that and everything you know on your master bus is going to make shit bright so it's like i kind of resist overall like going too bright because think of it like this how nice is it when you know when you listen to a song fresh this applies to volume also when you listen to a song fresh you, you wake up in the morning you never heard the song before and you're presented with parameters Okay, and what I mean by that is like, say for instance, someone gives you a hi-hat. You're like, that's high-end, you know? But unbeknownst to you, they've darkened that hi-hat a lot. So then when the chorus hits, there's a, another hat or something that lets in like, maybe that hi-hat was like kind of up in, you know, 10K. All of a sudden now you're getting stuff in like 15 and it's like, oh my God, the song just got so much brighter. It's like, think of it like, <laughs> think of it not like not frequency frequentially blowing your load too early <laughs> you know 
leave a little room to grow. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if I dark the drums, the vocal will also like, so, so yeah, so one for dynamic, but also if my hi-hat is fucking just, then I'm going to lose all the delicate high end of the vocal. It's going to be fucking interfering, you know? So maybe I'll have my drums kind of dark and then that'll let the vocal shine without having to add too much highs to the vocal. Cause you know, if I was a stupid ass ignorant producer, I'd be like, Oh, you know, the vocals don't have enough high end because I'd be judging relative to my fucking shrill ass hi hat. You know, I'd be making decisions based on faulty information. So I dark the hi hat or I listen to the vocal by itself and dark the hi hat to, to like make room for the vocal. Like different things are going to stand out. You have control over that. I think. If free will is a thing. All right, let's see what else. Oh, demo question was, can we send you demos to that email or just samples? Oh, the send Ian sounds is, uh, fuck, I should explain that. It's not the email to send demos to, but if you do, it's fine, whatever. But um, there's an email link on my Instagram that's, uh, that'll send it to an, a Gmail where I let people send me demos. And I listen to that like once every couple of weeks, probably because it's it's a lot of listening. Um, it's a lot of trash. I mean, not saying your stuff is trash, but most people's stuff is trash. I mean, my most of my stuff is trash. Shit, you know how long I fucking sent demos out for? A long time. I still do, and get no response. So fuck it, I don't care. My shit's trash too. That's why I talk like that. It's because I talk shit about my own songs too. So I go like, oh, this sucks. Like I'll say that about my own. Whatever. Doesn't give me permission to do it for other songs. Anyways. Mm. Question. I have time. I do have the time. So, wait. I do I have the time? Yeah. A few minutes. Yeah, from one to one me, for example. Do you just play with sounds that contrast enough? Oh! You know what's great about the stabs one to one me? They're online. Look up, um, go on Gear Sluts and look. I put them, I put the layers of the stabs online. Like the stems of it. This is like fucking three years ago, four years ago? What year are we? Fuck, five years ago. <gasps> four and a half years ago, compromise. It's uh, on Gear Sluts, I posted in a thread and I showed people the layers. So yeah, but to answer your question, uh, a lot of the times, and this like for Want to Want Me was just, I kept adding and seeing what sounded good. And then from all that shit, I picked combinations of stuff that Sounded good together. And like, for instance, on, um, hold on, sorry. Don't spill on yourself again, you cunt. <sighs> drinking, drinking's difficult. You ever see Donald Trump drink the fucking moron? He's like, Piece of shit. Fuck Donald Trump. Um, uh, well there, political guy. My, this is the most political producer stream. We don't like Trump. But I actually don't. Uh, what was I saying? I stopped to drink and then I forgot what I was saying. Good Lord, Ian. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, with one to want me steps. I did the same thing in Don't Start Now. You know, for the hook, for the, or the pre or whatever you want to call it. If you don't want to see me part, all those pianos... For a long time, I was trying to figure out what combination of, you know, I want it to be like a big fucking sound, but I didn't want it to sound like a million fucking sounds, you know? Only I know how many layers that is, and it's a lot, but, you know, lo the listener doesn't. So I went through maybe 30 presets, and, uh, you know, and I would put each, each like, I'd, I'd run the MIDI through, you know, this piano, this one, this one, and then some Nexus, and then some Omnisphere, and then some Razor, and then Pad Shop, and then... Uh, like, you know, the Arturia and the Roland Cloud stuff. And then I had like 35 different versions of that progression. And from that, I built a stack of seven. I picked seven of them that I liked and then bounced that to, to one. And then on from that one, there's also a, uh, what's it called? Terra Piano. I think on the rolling cloud and maybe one more Nexus thing. And then that stem. So it was like from 35 down to seven, down to one, then plus two more. 
uh, you know, it's just what it takes sometimes when you can't fucking make a decision. I had this really great quote <laughs> that I quote that I said one day that someone said was great. That's why I, I called it great. No ego there. But it's, uh, fuck. Like, basically, the gist of it was, like, because I didn't know what I was looking for. It's like, when you don't have vision, you get distracted. Fuck. I'm butchering, whatever, it's my quote, I don't care. Hold on. I want to fucking find this shit. Because I need to remember that. This is fucking... Every now and then I, I say something smart, and I'm like, oh, I should remember that, but then I forget. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I'm not going to find it. Anyways, you know, when you, when you don't know what you're doing, you, it, it, you, you can take a long time searching, you know. So basically, all that madness for finding the combination of stabs in Wantawami or the, you know, what sounds like a piano in, which is a piano, but plus like nine other things or eight other things. Um, all of that is because I just wasn't sure about it. So I have to, you know, if I don't know which road to walk down, I'm going to go walk down this one and then come all the way back and then walk down this one. Or, you know, I'm going to be, you know. So when you don't have vision, that's when you start, you know, getting into like time holes and spirals. And most of the time it doesn't work out. Like most of my live streams are just endless spirals of like, fuck this, let's try something new. Fuck this, let's try something new. Fuck this, let's try something new. So I do that a lot when I can't, when I don't have a confident vision for a part or, you know, when I'm just, I'm waiting to be inspired by a sound. So I'll go through fucking everything that comes to mind. Like for the, 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 if you've been watching for a while now, which probably haven't, but you know, there's like three or four things that are like the baby sub or where I tried to get a sub sound and it was different methods of it. And I would land on a cool one and be like, Oh, I'll save that. But that's not the right sound. So as you could see, you know, that's how, but you know, all you guys, all you producers understand, like, you know, you'll spend four hours on a fucking hi-hat. It's so hard to not get lost in the micro and stay macro, you know, stay in the big picture. It's so impossible because if you're a producer, you need to get into the micro. The more micro you get, I think it all adds up to good macro stuff, whatever. And find the Gmail you mentioned. It's, uh, oh, it's, I think it's an email link. It literally says email me on the top of the profile. Let me check. Ooh, old Jay Volta. What up, guys? Those dudes are so fucking talented. Um, wait, where's the shit? Where's the shit? Oh, Carissa. God damn. You are fucking hot. Wow. Um, let's see. Yeah, there should be an email button. On my thing. Let me make sure, though. How do I change my user? Got to go to my Finsta. Yeah, email. It's a button on there. Show us the Don't Start Now project file. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'll show you all that shit. The stem's leaked. I don't know where they are, and I can't show you legally. But they're up there on the internet. Um... But yeah, I'll, uh, oops, I'll, uh, I'll do that. I, so what I, I, I did some of that. When did I do that? Oh, I didn't do that. I did that for a class on Zoom. I showed my screen and found a lot of mistakes. But yeah, I'll, I'll do that on, um, wait, maybe we don't have to, maybe we don't have to go anymore. Let me see, hold on, let me, let me see. All right. Hold on a second. Wait, let's see how our sync is. Sync. Wait, let's see how our sync is. Sync. Oh, a little fucked up. It's a little fucked up. Um, are the stems good for learning? I don't know. Do I have it on my recents? That's pretty please. Oh my god, is there any terrible names on here probably uh no it's not on here damn um all right hold on you know what else i'm gonna do is i'm gonna fucking restart ndi so we don't have lag okay here's what we'll do we're gonna pause this or close ndi all right this is my webcam mic so it's gonna sound different for a second but 
uh, you can hear me. Let me uh, find the let me find the session file. If it if it opens up without crashing, it might work. But I think it's gonna crash Cubase because I'm fucking around. So just one moment, please. Uh, okay, where was it? Would be called DSN. DSN Darien. Yeah, that's the one for the classroom. Okay, activate. Let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is gonna. This is gonna. This is gonna crash my uh, shit. Cause you know, sometimes I don't know. All right, let's see. Let's load NDI again, anyways. NDI, you're back. All right. Oh, did it crash it? Oh, we're going. Okay, does everybody hear that? Let me make sure the sound's working. Sorry, um, why is it getting two signals? Hold on, something's weird. Crazy. What are my outputs? Oh, oh, okay. Hold on. Oh, right, because I summed it. Ooh, this is going to be a problem. Are you going to be able to hear this? I'm summing it in the, uh, the Equinox, my Equinox, Shadow Hills Equinox. I split it up, which was completely self-defeating because it doesn't matter in the end. Wait. So it doesn't matter in the end. Okay, cool. Make sure sound works because I didn't mix the song. So, but I, I think I was doing this just because I wanted to. I was bored. So, let's see. Crazy. Let me check my sound real quick. Okay, that sounds not phasey. Crazy. Thinking about the way... Okay, that sounds half decent. Okay, that sounds half decent. Thanks, Ian. Oh, you had a story about that? Fuck. Oh, I need to find out that information. <laughs> okay. Oh, you know what? Let me add... Um, my talk back thing because it has that like mutomatic or whatever the fuck uh mute matic mute math thing and no you can't have two projects open on cubase at once you can have one you can have multiple open but uh save that uh oh shit hold on input what is the fucking thing as left i believe Bada bing, bada boom. Check, check, check. check. Whoa, Whoa, latency. latency. Oh, oh, that's, that's because of, of the mastering. mastering. Whatever. We can deal with it. Can we deal with it? Mm, wait, let's look at the master. All right, don't worry, we'll, we'll go over stuff. What is this going through, drum? Oh, it's because of the Poltec. Oh, let's just send it out through another... You're so... Smart, Ian. Check, check. There we go. Ah. Woo. All right. All right, I'm going to go. I'm not going to go anywhere, but I'm going to go get uh, this little thing of trail mix. Um, ask me ask me what you want me to look at, and we'll go through it on the thing for a minute. I'm going to do, I, I sh I'll do like a more official one for the song. So like people will be able to, oh, let's keep it out of that area. Sorry, I forgot about my um, little back black pain on the left side. A little Rick dancing guy. What's this? Oh, yeah, we need that. Okay, let's just move that to where it's like there. And, you know, since this isn't, maybe this isn't that boring anymore. So we'll take off the boring text. As, okay, Rick. Enough with Rick. Okay. 
processing on base. Okay, hold on a second. I'll be right back. Like literally like 10 seconds. Where's my thing? Where's that little fucking thing? There it is. All right, there I am. All right. Okay. For real this time, I'm putting 30 minutes on the thing. Incredible. All right. How's our sink? Good enough. All right. Oh, so much stuff to read. Um, I can see the drums. All right, Caesar, let's go. Check out these bitches. Mm hmm. Crazy. So let's go through some layers. All right, let's turn them. Vocal for a moment. Oh, you know what? There's one really cool thing on this uh, on this track on the drums. There's a lot of cool things, but one of my favorite layers of the drums, and this is something I've been doing a lot. Wait a minute, sorry, sorry for all the scrolling. I'm gonna put my talk back in this folder so it doesn't un unmute it when I solo the drums folder. You know what I mean? Okay. So. Big time. This is the cool thing. I don't know if you can hear this. I'll make it loud for a second, but there's a track that's just, I was fucking around with a bit crusher and I put like the rate or something way down. So it was just like, and it came out with, with this. And it was so, f like, I was like, oh, that might be, like, a fun little thing to add to the, um, to the transient of the kick and the snare, you know? Obviously, it's much lower in the mix. A little, adds a little twinkle to the transient, you know? Shit like that, man. Little marginal things. Um, let's see what else there is. The low end of the kick looks like a contact. Um, attack is taken off. on the channel nothing no plugins just took some high end off so that's the low end of the kick super super low end sub kick sub kick question mark because i wasn't sure um so f funny fact about this uh this song is the reason why the reason why this folder is called new drums is because <gasps> Did I remove the track? You're so dumb. Hold on. Uh, I gotta go back to this guy. Uh, no, I don't wanna open the back. Yes, I wanna keep it. No, I don't wanna activate it. Fuck off. I removed this. Oh, wait. DSN ref final. Oh, you know what? It's not in here. It's gonna be, hold on. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Uh, probably, no, not mix prep. It's going to be the one before that. All right, no, let's just see. Let's look on mix prep. No, yes, no, fuck off. I just have an option to turn that off. Okay, here it is. So we're going to import it from mix prep. Okay. New feature in Cubase. Import. 
tracks from Project. I don't care if your DAW has that too, but it's kind of new. Well, it's not new, but it's you can import uh, whatever. I don't need to explain myself. JK, I do. I was fucking around too much. I knew it. I fuck it. it. I would blame Cubase, but I was fucking around. All right, hold on. I'm going to take this as an opportunity to... Wait. Maybe... I was, I was going to say, maybe we get back in sync. Okay, hold on. I'm clearing the the screen. Fucking shit. Just to... I'm going to try to... I'm going to quit NDI and then come back so it's like in sync. Yeah, man, Cubase, you know, bless their hearts, man. They really try to do a lot. They try to do a lot. But also, I'm using, there's so many fucking third-party plugins that, like, fuck shit up sometimes that I can't, I can't be mad because I'm using so many fucking plugins and random things, and Cubase is like, oh! Okay, let me see if I can fucking get this back quickly. Um... Sorry about this, guys. I'll put the NDI thing back on, too, in a moment, and we'll be back in sync. I'll run and restart it, so we're back in sync. Let's go open up this. Uh, do I want to open up? No. Keep. Yes, I want to activate. Right, what caused it to crash? There has to be some plugin on there. There's always like one or two, like Valhalla's Vintage Verb sometimes will cause crashes. Isotope will sometimes ca cause a crash. Um, there's like a few plugins that just for some reason don't mix well with, with Cubase sometimes. You know, like if I have a reason, um, let's see if this works. If I have like a reason, a reason rack effect and then I open a project without reason, it will freeze Cubase. It won't crash, it'll freeze. All right, I think we're back on, so let me restart NDI. All right. Am I getting sound? It looks like it. Let's go to live. There we go. All right. Sorry about that, guys. It won't happen again because... I have the track already. Sorry about that, guys. It won't happen again because I have the track already. All right, let me mute me. Making sure. Oh, let's check our sync. Let me mute me. Oh, let's check our sync. What the fuck? It's way off. Kind of bull. Hold on. What the fuck? It's way off. All right. NDI is back on. Yeah, bitch. Hey, man, technology does a lot for us. Whatever, if the sync goes off, it's not the end of the fucking world. So, here's... I, I didn't forget what we were. We were talking about the drums, right? I'm gonna leave the talkback thing off. Um, we're talking about the drums. Oh, you know what I should do, though? I'm not gonna get distracted. Here we go. There we go. Just so that's a little bit louder. Let me check the... Oh, fuck. Did I save everything I did on... Oh, shit. Hold on. Fuck. Fuck. Fucking fuckity shit, fuck. Hold on. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. You guys are so patient. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I will flog myself. Sure Alright, great. So, here's what I was going to say about the drums. So, let's put this closer. The original demo, this is the final reference here. Um, the thing that I can do with all, the, all these... Uh, wait. Wait, sorry. Thinking about the way 
Okay, sorry, now we're playing the right track. Um, this is the final. And basically, this is, we're going to go back in time. Every, every play, this is like previous versions. So like, for instance, the fill into the second verse. There didn't used to be, we tried this. That was uh, an idea I had when there was a different fill. Um, so, um, okay, sorry, I just get paranoid about the sound. All right, um, so here's the thing about the drums and the reason that there is a folder that is called New Drums. Pray. It's because the original demo Disco. Very tight drums. Cray. I knew that I didn't know that I had, at the time. Um, I was thinking that the song was too disco. So I think like in this version I don't think there's anything on the Yeah, see? On this version Production doesn't change in the pre, so it's I was looking, I was listening to, uh, fuck, what was I listening to? Whatever. I was thinking in the pre, you know, maybe that's a place to kind of depart a little bit from being too disco because changing the drums up to something a little fatter. I was just like listening to what was on the radio. Oh, and can't feel my face. But the weekend, and I was like, because that's kind of a similar structure, uh, similar idea where it's in a big harmonic or big harmony part with singing and, you know, and then it goes into like, a, I can't feel my face drop with, with like a bass. And I was listening to those drums like, oh, those are so fat. So I kind of tried to make the drums like in between disco-y, super traditional disco, which is like very tight. More like, you know, that's like earth, wind and fire type. Um, uh... So, you know, I changed the drums and then I was like, where else, how, how else can we like distance a little bit from the disco? Because this is January of 2019, right? So, oh no, wait, this is July, I'm sorry. January, this is July, it's after she cut it, obvious. Um, like if you actually want to hear. Demo, demo. Um, before, yeah, so July, I was like, uh, you know, tried to make the, the drums halfway between Can't Feel My Face and Disco. Because, like I was saying, this was July of 2019. And at that time, you know, Urban was fucking king. Still is king. But, like, you know, Disco was not popping off. So I was like, is it even the wave? Um, you know. So I, I fucked with the, the pre-chorus and I put in that bass. That was kind of like na 90s, like... It's like a trillion patch. I'll show you. Here, I'll show you. I forgot we have the song open. Where's the bass? We'll go. We'll go back to the drums real quick. I'm just gonna show you really, really quick. Like the. Uh, so the bass is. Uh, well, it's printed, but it's N Native Instruments MM MM Scarby. Um. Very simple bass, but it doesn't have a lot of low end. So with this, I mixed in the sub bass, which is just like a sine wave. If you can hear that. So those are together to add a little bit of low end to the bass. And then in the pre, I added this. Big and clicky. I think that's a trillion thing. Anyways, I put that on there to try to get away from the disco for a second. I mean, not that that sound didn't happen in disco songs, but I don't know, I just, I don't know, try to go somewhere else. Because in the drums too, which we'll go back to, there's like kind of like a, some other shit that happens that sounds kind of 90s. Little breaths. Let's let's hear let's 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 do the fucking do the layer thing. 
How did I do that last time? Oh, sorry. Yeah, those claps. That's like the kind of 90s uh, thing. That, I fucking love that clap. That clap is from the Op 1. You know the Op 1? Anyways, let's do the layers. Well, that's a lot. Let's just go through, let's see. I don't know what sample that is, or I printed all these. Sorry. All of these are kind of doing something different, like this. And you and you got to be mindful of the uh, tr you know the where you put stuff on the grid. Like it's the claps, obviously. Or you can see better the claps leading the snare. You know, I maybe like cut this little thing here to make it like blip a little bit or something. What is it? Yeah, like. There was stuff there and I took it out just to make it click more. Anyways. All this is printed, but it was just imagine like chopped up samples. That's what it would be. That's what it would look like. These are just chopped up bits of loops. Wow, there's one kick, really? Oh, there's a sub kick too, but. I don't remember where that's from. Probably just a fucking sample in contact. And the uh, the new drum bus has what on it? The stereo image is taken down. I don't remember doing this. The limiter? It's not even doing any. This is not doing anything. I don't know why it's on there. It's not doing anything. And this is not doing anything either. Don't ask questions. <laughs> I don't know why that's on there. I mean, maybe, I don't know. It could have been an idea I was trying to do or fucking... I don't, you can't expect me to know, remember what the fuck I was doing J July. It's like, it's like a few weeks ago. That's like, it's a long time ago. <gasps> I forgot to finish my coffee. What's the main kick process wise? Oh, see, that's the shit part is that I, I bounced. I bounced it, but all right, all right, all right. If we're really going to fucking, let me just be the, let, let me be, let me go that extra mile. Let's go way back. Wait, we gotta go to the new drums. Which fucking version was that? Who knows? New bridge shit. Let's look at this one. I'm just gonna look at it. I'm not gonna open it. Uh, do I wanna delete? No, keep it. Cannot open. Oh shit. Oh fuck, my bad. I fucking did it uh, online only on Dropbox. Ooh. Oh, my Dropbox paused, so it's not going to try to download it good. Okay, sorry. Look, the fucking kick is... This is this is 100% a sample that I just put in contact. I don't know. No pro, There's no uh, nothing on the channel right now. Um, but what else is there? there there's that kick plus a sub kick, right. which is just this, if you can hear that. You left me. If you can hear that. You left me. Okay. Oh wait, let's see how our sync is. Oh wait, let's see how our sync is. Eh, could be better. Whatever. Anyways, let's go. Let's keep going with the the drums. That's it. Oh, let's go to the drop because the drop has fun stuff in it too. I think. Nope. It's just a clap, probably with some fucking reverb plus. Two claps. Is that all? What's this? What's this? The dip. Splice. Splice sound. What's on the effects there? That's not effects. That's a string, you schmuck. See, this is how I do a lot of things here. Oh, sorry. This thing's too zoomed in. Like, that, uh... Vi the, the violin thing is not actually even a patch. It's a parts of a, a sample. Like, let's see. I think it... Oh, that is all manipulated. Um, let me see. Hold on a second. Where's the original guy? This looks like maybe the original. What's the original sound? Nope. 
No, but it's VLNSSUS. Hold on, I'll show you. That's definitely not Splice. That's old school. VLNSSUS. Oh, it's one of the held out ones. Cause see, where's that from? Hold on, we're looking at the we're, what you're looking at now is the ple uh ple pre splice days, 300 gigs of stuff that I accumulated over a decade. That's gonna be in the orchestral collection. Um, I think it's called like Run, yeah. So there's a bunch of samples. If you're wondering how I got these so sounds, um, I used to build websites for people that had bands and sometimes they didn't have money, but they worked at Guitar Center. So I was like, get me sample CDs, you know? Anyways, so this sound is made out of bits of both of those, like the sustained one, you see SUS, -S -S the run. I think I, yeah. And that's it. That's that thing. So it's not a VST instrument, it's not a patch or anything, it's just that. Um, all right, moving the fuck on. Sorry about not having the process of the kick. I'll, I'll look for it. <laughs> uh, have you ever put a vocoder on drums? Yes. Can we hear the first demo? I don't, I wanna play the first demo, but I don't know if I'm allowed to. I mean, and also like a lot of things, you know, do what came in when she put her vocal on it, she, we changed a lot of shit. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I'm, I have to check back on that. Let me talk to my lawyer. All right, what else? Um, oh yeah, the drums in the drop. We'll go top down. So, or the post, I guess. More of that cool 90s clap. Okay, so this is snare high. So this is just high end that I add, that I wanted like some, you know, we're talking about things complementing and layering. Like I just wanted to add some high end to my snare for the chorus and the pre, apparently. So plus our glitch, clap, sub kick. Really messy loop. That sounds like the croup stuff. Pre-splice days. Sorry, boys. That. What's on this? Oh, compressor. All these are, you know, um, this had to be like modified. I definitely did that and then printed it over and over again. Yeah. These are all just samples that I might have cut up on the spot. So, same, uh, same kick and the breaths. So that's all our, oh, there's all this. Old Phil's is from an, an older version of the song. Or it was just a, what's all here? Ooh, let's see what, what it used to be. Oh wait, that was where I, I put the cowbell, but I actually moved the cowbell down here. You'd be depressed to know that that is a sample of a live cowbell, but it was literally like, I just put, I'd like if you, I had bounced this, but if you'd seen it before it was bounced, it would look like me putting a bunch of repeats of a cowbell like that, including the flam. It's the same, or it's like a bunch of different cowbell samples of the same cowbell, like, you know, when you have like multiple hits. So I never actually played that live. And the first hits of flam, I totally forgot that too. So, nothing spectacular going on there, for real. How long have you been producing for? Come on, man. Come on. Sorry, I don't know. Come on. Come on. Let's see all these little fills here. Oh, see, there's a click. Oh, that's on purpose. Oh, and it's bleeding. That's on purpose. That's not bullshit. Um, what's op fill? Oh yeah, the tom. Oh, what was this? Huh, 
extra stuff there. What else is there in here? Ooh, there's a lot of stuff in there. This is probably just playing around on the op one. Cool. This is that one time I was thinking of putting this in. And I didn't do it. I only used it for those for that little thing. <laughs> it, this is what became of it. Just that. Um, the drum bus processing. Let's talk about it. I don't think it's much, to be honest. Oh, okay. It's, uh, the drum bus is this guy. The whole drum bus. It's these two things. So, what does it sound like without it? Completely the same. Sort of. I don't know, whatever. Woohoo. Less is more. Um, okay, what else is there? Let's read. Oh, I forgot to eat. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to chew on the mic. My bad. Oh, um, Favorite donut spot? Gotta be Krispy Kreme. Is that stupid? But I don't really eat donuts. I mean, I love donuts, but I don't eat them. Do I tune my drums? No. No. Um, Caesar. Why contact? Um, I'm more used to it. Also, I think it has a few more, a few more, um, features. Like, um, like, I don't know if you guys, if you guys fuck with contact, but here, I'll give you an example of why I love contact. Let's find a little percussion sound. Look at me going off on a tangent. Um, I'll just load. Hold on. Oh, wait, not add tracks. Uh, what do I do? Oh, I thought I had a key for that. I'll tell you why I love contact. Oh, shouldn't go through drum, though. Oh, slow. All right, one. I'm gonna put this on like bounce or something so no latency. Cause yeah, the Fab L2 is a fucking bitch. All right, um, I'll tell you why I like contact. Okay, so like that little sample, which is so low you can't even hear it. Watch this. First of all, I know, okay, I'll just go to what Cubase doesn't have. Um, the script editor. You've probably seen this and you're like, what the fuck script editor? Your boy found out. It's like a little programmer. A little programming, like a, a re-trigger step thing, which does it 16th notes. You know? I like stuff like that, because maybe I want to do that. You know, and fucking hear... Uh, Sounds great. Script editor, that's the answer to the question. And I just like the interface because I'm used to it. Script editor is... Script editor is what... If you, you can use script editor to put like a sample into unit... Unit... unit mono... Not poly, polyphonic... Monophonic. And have it go legato and like change the glide time and all that shit. That's what script editor is for in contact. It's great. Details like vocal chops. Yeah, let's check that shit out. That stuff's fun. All right. There's a lot of really fun um, cut up shit. I should really do like an official video of this. So I'm gonna go quick. I only have five more minutes, anyways. Um, yeah, my my vocal chops, as you can see, are very. I'm very fucking crazy with that shit. Don't show up. Like that's. Don't come out. You know. Don't come out. Let's see what that sounded like before. Don't come out. Don't come out. Oh, there's a LFO tool ducking it right now. Let's turn that off for the moment. Don't come out. Don't come out. So like that don't, I, I fucked it up and I, I chopped it to, to this. Don't come. Don't come. Don't come. As opposed to. What? 
Whoa! Oh shit! Oh shit, I just undid until fucking contact came back. Where are you? Where are you, contact? Oh fuck. Oh <laughs> shit. I left the contact thing in here. Whatever. Song's out, doesn't matter. Oh, there it is. Fuck you. Bitch ass. So, sorry, what were we doing? Don't come out. Don't come. Don't come out. Don't come. Don't come out. Yeah, I chopped that shit. Don't come out. Yeah, look, I mean, look at, look at how fucking, look at, look at this shit. Like, this is, this is where it's chopped. No fade. Mouth. Although, auto fade's on, right? Oh, no. Oh, no, there's no fade out, but it cuts at a zero crossing, so it won't click. You know? Mouth. I love that shit. Mouth. I love that, it, and it stops Mouth. before the snare. So it's like you hear it stop. You don't just, I didn't just clip it at the snare. Mouth. No. Mouth. So it's like a little, oh, what the fuck? You know? That kind of shit. Um, and that is, let's see, goes together with these guys, which is, oh wait, you know what? I think all the processing is here for these so you can see. Okay, here's the, the drop lead. Well, it's going into, oh yeah, okay, nothing on the lead bus. Nothing on right now. But rem remember, LFO tool gets automated to uh, turn on right there when it drops. So right when the chorus hits, you're getting this. Don't show up. Boom. Don't come out. Ducking the fuck out of that vocal. Fucking fucking the duck out of it. <laughs> Don't show up. We're gonna take that off for now though. Okay, so here's the uh, chain. Clean. Oh nope, low higher, not on there. I'll explain these really quickly. OTT, what a fucking surprise. Poltec. Don't worry, the stream will be saved. Don't freak out. Everything's fine. Take a screenshot if you want. I don't care. Um, so, let's go through it. Don't show up. Don't come out. That's just as clean as it gets. Wait, what equalizer is on here? Oh, man. Have this big screen, I can't see shit. This is all pre fade, by the way, or pre pre plugins. So there's a little boost in the highs. I don't know why. Probably because I felt like there should be a boost in the highs. Don't show up. So Brainworks uh, is cl clean sweep. It's just a really nice thing to take off like low end. Um, uh, let's don't see. Show like uh, okay, you see, I can't point to my screen, but if you look at like this area right here on the vocal. If I turn off clean sweep, look at this area. Don't show up. Look at all that information there. There's some low end. There's some 22 fucking 25 hertz. I don't need that information. Don't show. That's gonna fuck with my compressor. Fuck that. I don't need that shit. Take it out. Don't show up. Well, it didn't take it out don't completely, but it out. cut it out uh, so that the compressor is acting on what's there, not some fucking invisible bass that I can't hear. Fuck that shit. What am I, an amateur? Anyways, clean sweep. Then fucking UAD smash to shit, right? Yep. Smash to shit. Don't show up. Look at that shit. Don't come out. That's the difference. Don't stop caring about me. It's the hold shift and smash them, you know? It's cause it cause that makes it distort a little bit. Don't show up. Don't show up. Don't show up. I think that shows. Don't show up. Don't show up. Yeah, listen to the difference in show. Don't show up. Clean. Don't show up. Distorted. Show, show, show. You know what I mean? Cause, that, cause I'm, I'm, uh, the, the, it's reducing it to as much as it can. That's why it starts distorting. I think. Show up. Anyways, whatever. That's what I did. Um, then our favorite, our favorite, OTT, but responsible OTT. Look at the responsibleness on it. Show up. Show up. Show up. Show up. So. Don't come out. Great fucking plugin. Little multi-band uh, expansion and compression there. Don't stop caring. And then, okay, so the next part has to do with what comes after it. The Poltec, this plugin has a lot to do with what comes after it. Like it, yeah, it looks like. So let's pull up those two. Um, they're bypassed right now. But here's the deal. Don't stop caring. Don't stack. Oh my god, that S. Don't stack. Well, you're probably not hearing it because you're hearing 128 bit. Whatever. Anyways, 
I boosted the highs. Don't stack. Don't stack. At 10k, and then I DS it. Don't stack. Don't stack. Caring. I boosted the highs into the DSer. Feel me? Don't stack. Caring. So that's that guy. So it's funny. A lot of the personality of that Vovo comes from the chopping of it, actually, and the fact that it's getting smashed to bits by that by that compressor. Like, oh, it's probably chopped before that. But anyways, like the compressor would bring in all the real breaths and everything, but I didn't, I don't allow it. Up, up. Anyways, on in back of that is. Don't come out. Don't stop caring. That's the uh, some printed doubles with uh, micro shift on it. Don't come out. That's from the demo. Very low in the background. Don't come out. Don't stop caring. Um, what microphone? Oh, we used uh, a Telefunken 251 for the lead. The not the not the vintage one. The like the remake, you know, the lesser, but it's still great, Mike. Um, all right, the level of all the tracks. Well, remember I didn't mix this. I gave Josh. The song to mix and like I'd give him a clean version of the vocals and everything. Oh here here's a good here's here's a good thing. Here's a good thing. This maybe will answer your question about the levels. Um let's see, like on the drum bus I mean it's definitely peaking. Look, it's like zero. After all the after all the plugins though, what if I take all the plugins off? My peak is negative two point six on the drums. Oh, and a peak there, one point seven. Thanks, cowbell. But it's been it's getting slammed into um, an L two, which is limiting, and a Poltec, which is probably adding more shit, and then the L two, which is limiting it. But not that much, right? Not that much. So that's the level of the drums, which are probably the loudest thing. Bass has nothing on its stem. Wait, that's not true. Fucking oh, here's the interesting part about the bass. Um, the slaps are from a different patch. So I think it's it's called atmosphere, but it's trillion. Yeah. Shit's fly. I'm cutting the high end. They're bright, but they don't hurt my ears. Um, I don't think so. What am I doing? Am I cutting any high end? Let's see. Oh, it would be on the Poltec. Yeah, probably. Oh, probably, dude. Uh, drum. Yeah, the Poltec Pro. Let's see. Yeah, look at that. Good observation. Very good observation. Who is that? We are holograph. Very interesting. Um, yeah, look. Without. With. Eh. But I'm attenuating. That's what att 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 attend means. I'm attenuating by, uh, by a good amount at 10K. But then boosting a little bit at 8 for some reason. Is anything else doing anything? No. So that's it. So yeah, that... Poltec is purely to soften the high end on the drums. Let's go extreme. The Poltec is a phenomenal EQ, very transparent. I mean, fuck. I would have gone there. I remember on the first version of the mix, Josh, the drums were like very bright and there was like some widener on. And I was like, no, 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 we got to take all that off. Okay. Oh, uh, don't come out. Um, what else? How we approach tracking vocals for the demo, which I can pull. I'm gonna play like two seconds. Oh, uh, don't come out. Oh, mind you, this is you're hearing the. Uh, sorry, before I go play that illegal demo, um, you're hearing 
the the this is not even what it sounded like that I sent to like Dua and the label. It's this is pre master. So this is pre master, and then I put which you can't really. But anyways, the the bounce, the final bounce that you're hearing has this chain on it. Image image of the bass has gone down to mono. A little OTT. Look at like very little. 22% of 50 and no upwards. So like N O T T, not over the top at all. And a little bit of LT. Cause I like dynamic. Call me old fashioned. Let's we'll make sure our fucking sound is working. Old All right, cool, it works. All right, so um, tracking vocals for the demo. See, I didn't forget. I went on a tangent, but I didn't forget. It's because I'm not high anymore. <laughs> oh, fuck. Get high. Shh. Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. It's CBD. It's not even uh, THC. Um, all right. Okay. How do I tell how many people are watching? Whatever. Who cares? It's not about that. No, it's not about that. All right. So the, I'm so sorry to go off on the many tangents. The demos for the, uh, the vocals for the demo were done in the room with, uh, I don't even remember the mic. Don't start caring about me now. That was a demo. You could see how much a spin Dua put on it. Dua didn't sing it as much. The demo was more of a like, don't show up, don't come out, I'm not kidding about me now. Dua was like, what if we try it like blah blah? And it sounded so good. She like, don't come out. It's like half sung, half talk, you know. When Dua puts her voice on a record, it's a different record. It's like, oh, this song is dope. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, I've sent the. Thank you for sending me that Q and A. What do you think about producing out demo after you've written it to something super? Hmm. Um, I don't. I'll never rarely change the chords of a demo. Um, that usually stays the same because if the if a demo goes to the next step, it's because an artist or a label. Or, you know, someone, your manager, or I think it's good. Like, it's like, let's let's proceed with this. Um, what? Sorry. Voices. My, um, what was I saying? What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah to go to the next step. Uh, if someone, if, if a demo gets taken to the next step, it's because the demo was appreciated or people like something about the demo. So I don't want to fucking, you know, shoot myself in the foot by changing what was great about it. I'll change what sucked about it, which, you know, in the old Don't Start Now, I thought the drums were... So I was like, well, that's, that's, that to me was like, an obvious thing that I could improve in the in the song, you know. And it was and it's fucking tough, man, because when especially when like a label or an artist loves the demo, you know, you get the demoitis, and then you have to like. There's a whole psychology to being like, I'm gonna try some drums, you know, I'm gonna try this, and like when you fucking do it, you gotta fucking deliver because people already like it, so you can't you know, make them go, mm, I like the demo better. It's like, it's tough, you know? So. I don't change the chords, but yeah, I always try and find better sounds, always. Here's a good, uh, here's a good thing you can do. If you wanna, if you're, let's see, pulling your hair out, trying to figure out how to make something better. 
do this mental exercise. Think when you're listening, uh, first of all, don't do this exercise when you've been working for six or seven hours straight. Do this when in the morning or something, you know, you, you, you like, like last night, for instance, I got so fucking, so fucking baked. I had a little shroom chocolate. I was like out of my mind, kind of. But I was sitting here and I was working on this other song. And in my head, as I was, as I was working, you know, I was like, and I don't normally, you know, get this high or take shroom chocolates casually. I mean, this is like the result of the quarantine and trying to just not think about the outside world because it's not easy to not think about. So that's the only reason I've been like, you know, I'm always like high when I'm doing the fucking streams. It's, it's edibles and it's, and it's because, you know, people find ways to deal, whatever. Um, I totally forgot what I was saying. What was I saying? Oh yeah, mental exercise. Okay, when you wake up in the morning and, and, and you were gonna listen to what you did the night before. So like this morning I woke up and I was like, okay, I was, you know, pretty fucking baked last night. So what if everything I thought was cool was not? Whatever, I have fresh ears. It's gonna occur to me in a moment. So this is when you do this exercise. <laughs> it's gonna sound really stupid. And you're gonna be like, <laughs> everybody's like all listening. You listen to the song and in your brain, you imagine the perfect version of that song. And you just run them at the same time. And every time you hear a moment where it goes, where it goes dissonant, where you're like, ah, oh, it doesn't really add up to what I wanted to do there. That's when you know you have something, you have to do something, you have to fix something, you know? Or man, this like this, this, man, I really, I, rem I remember this, tr these drums be hitting harder. Fix your drums, you know? Who? Oh, okay. That was weird. Um... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sorry. Anyways, um, that's a good mental exercise. It's like when I'm, it's, I use that a lot for when I'm comping vocals. Like I hear the vocal in my head as I'm listening to it. I, I just, I try to, it's almost like a way of surpassing the question. Like, should I notice that? Or, you know, am I, am I missing something? It's like, you kind of just trust your, yourself. And every time your brain goes, eh, that's something, you know? And if you want to know how I've furthered that technique is now in the morning when I like, if I really need to like listen closely to a song and it's, I know it's up to me, like maybe everyone likes the demo. Everyone's like, this is ready to go to mix, but you know, deep down, I'm like, mm, this is not perfect. This is not right yet. There's something I need to do. What little marginal improvements. Now, when I wake up in the morning and I listen to the song for the first time, I put a track on. I create a track, I pull up the, the, uh, you can't, you can't see it, the, uh, the old SM7, which is here. I literally put it in front of my face and I put on my headphones like this, right? Oh my God, this camera has been kind of pointing off the whole time. There we go. Um, and I, and I close my eyes and I have the mic right here. I'm not monitoring the mic, but I'm recording and I'll sit there and I'll listen to the song like this and I'll, and that way I don't have to write anything down. It's super fast. So I'm like, that hi-hat's too loud. This needs a transition. This feel sucks, etc. cetera. And then, and then I have a visual map everywhere on the track. I, when I see a little bump in the waveform, that's every little part that I would, oh, I have something to do here. And it'll be me saying, this hi-hat's too loud. I'll lower the hi-hat, cut out that part of my little note track, move on to the next little blip. This kick sucks, fix the kick. It's like, you know, that's my method. And I'm playing the song in my head and I'm hearing it. And every time there's a disagreement, I just go, oh, that doesn't match. Fix that. And that's how I do my mix notes or my, my notes for me. For me. So that's, uh, I know that's good. I know. Like, I'm proud of that shit. I'm proud of that fucking method. And I think that it's like, that's an example of being creative and how you're creative. You know, it's like, Say you do music and you know you're good at music. You know you're creative. Get past that. Now you have to be creative and how you're creative. Like, do you, you know, what, uh, I do this in the Q&A thing. It's like, do I work better in this room? Do I work better at night? Do I work better in the morning? Do I work better after I work out? Do I really need to take a shit before I work? Or like, you know, you find out how you are, you get creative and how you're creative. <sighs> Whatever. Like for me, I think that every time I repeat the shit, it ingrains it more in my brain. And then I'm... And I remember to remember it. <laughs> remind me to remind myself.
many hours a day do you spend on producing during quarantine? What else is there to do? Um, I don't know. Some days a lot. And other days I have to clean the house or something. Or just some days I don't like feel good about creating. Um, so I'll go do something else. I don't know. I don't know. And you, and you can't be too hard on yourself when you just don't feel it. You just fuck it, man. Take a day off. It's, I'm learning that about balance. It's like the time off is as important as the time on, you know? And if you're not, it, it, you know, and, you know, you, you guys tell me, like, what is the, the trade-off between, like, sometimes you got to, like, force yourself. You know, you're just like, oh, if I keep at it, I'll figure, I'll find something. And then there's also, like, oh, don't force it. It's uh, that. I haven't figured that out yet. But the balance thing is important, like time off, time on. As for like when to really dig in and try to like do something creative, sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. There's no fucking rule of thumb. I dare you to put mid pitch rap. <laughs> that is a. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Fuck that shit. Let's fucking do it, man. Oh wait, what's my buffer at? Oh, hold on a second. We gotta we gotta prepare for this funny little joke. That is fucking funny. Let's fucking do it. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. This is gonna be so fucking bad. Oh shit. I'm gonna do it to the bounce. Oh fuck. What happens now? Wait. Well, don't come out. I am not good at pitch map yet. What are like the things I don't have to suppressed pitch? By the way, pitch map is one of the most insane fucking plugins. It's like you're changing. Wait, just remind me. Let me check my sync. You're changing. Wait, just remind me. Let me check my sync. You're changing. Not, not bad, but not terrible. Not not good, but whatever. We're, whatever. We're in the middle of this. Pitch map is very CPU intensive, and it's like two hundred and forty dollars for some reason. But you know, when I played with the demo, I was like, "There's no way I don't." live and die by this plugin because it is so incredible. It's You're literally changing reality. I'll show you what it does in a minute. Or just go watch a YouTube video. It'll explain it much better. Let's fuck with some presets, though. Then we'll do the higher pitch. Don't come out. Don't start caring. Where, what? How can I go through the fucking presets faster? Wait, can I do it here? Oh, yeah. Whoa. 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 Holy shit, man. This shit is crazy weird. Don't come out. Don't start caring about me now. Walk away. You know how. What the fuck? Don't start caring about me now. Aren't you the well? Don't come out. Don't start caring about me now. Well, okay. Well, let's, uh, isn't it like kind of haunting? It's like, what the hell is happening? Well, well. All right. Let's, uh, I don't know, so I can throw some MIDI at it. <laughs> this is so, this is so funny. Um, the output is going to be pitch map. Thanks, Cubase. Let's go to a preset for MIDI. Um, synth like will make my computer crash. I know that. I'm not sure if it, there is a time when it won't make anything crash. So now I'm sending it MIDI. It's hard. What's even crazier that it'll play chords? Well, it's fucking weird, man. Um, all right, we did it. Put a vocoder on it. How fast is this gonna crash? So, okay, so put a vocoder on that. Oh fuck. Vocal synth. 
Where you? Where you at, bro? We're gonna, f dude. This is so fucked. But you know what's even crazier is I'm gonna duplicate the MIDI, and I'm gonna make sure we send MIDI to both pitch map and the vocoder. This is so stupid. Ryan, I know your name, Mr. Leet Speak. Ryan, I'm I'm very impressed. This is hilarious. Okay, let's go. Well, vote call synth two. Oh my god, this is fucked. This is so fucked. Let's go into MIDI mode. Wow. Here we go. This is boring. Oh, cool. <laughs> well. You know what? Hold on, pitch map. Pitch map's not doing anything for me right now. Oh shit. Remix. Cool. Whoa. That's fucking hard. You know, it'd be super hard. Oh, see, now we're making a fucking song. Hold on a second. Uh, if I put LFO tool. Okay, now we are, you are just experiencing the raw creative power of Cubish. Let's go on eighth notes. Now the interesting thing is going to be whether to put this before or after vocal synth. Okay, we can't hear this. Let's uh, have a little volume here, guy. Um, all right, OTT. Okay, but here, it's going to get really interesting if you put LFO tool before vocal synth. Oh, I'll show you. God, that sounds crazy. Holy fucking shit. Hold on a second. Ryan, you get pub on this. <laughs> this is crazy. Isn't it? Interesting. So fucking sick. How many different things we do with this? Why is the bio box kind of lag? CPU, are you trying to fuck around, bro? What's causing that click? Oh, I turned soft, uh, uh, smooth. Maybe that's what's gonna do it. No. I think it's just the, the BioVox thing trying to make sense of what's happening. Oh, and also, oh no, maybe not. Oh, sorry, I can't play keys. That is so fucking sick. Wait a minute.
That's so weird. So fucking hard, dude. Oh, wait, what happened? What happened if on? Oh, yeah. That is so fucking cool. What a funny thing to do. Oh. That's so fun, man. All right. Oh, fuck. All right. You guys. Thanks for watching, man. This has been so fun. Um, I guess tomorrow, what's gonna happen on Splice is you send so uh, you send not songs, you send sounds to that Gmail, and then I'm supposed to live produce something with all those sounds, which I'm really nervous about. But probably probably will be fun. I'm always like nervous and then it turns out to be fun and I'm like, oh, what were you worrying about? But maybe this will be the time that it isn't, so hey. All right. See you guys. Love y'all. Um, this will save, probably. But I also recorded it on my computer. Peace out and a special peace out to the original homies, Caesar Anton.